look at the big smiley juice. Pokemon X and Y has been announced. So, we're gonna be talking to the guy that creates those Pokemon. We're gonna have a sneak secret look at how new Super Mario Brothers are named and why they are named like that. This is exclusive information. All the secrets are gonna be revealed about the naming right here. We're we'll gonna be checking out some nice info about a Resident Evil game. And we are gonna be looking at a few awesome reviews because you love them so much. We're gonna be reviewing Mega Man 3, a nice classic to just to keep it, you know, simple and retro. And we all gonna have a look at a nice Windows Phone exclusive Moon Show. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get into it. So let's start off. Pokemon X and Y has been announced, and I know you guys are really excited. This guy is really excited. Man, I've played Pokemon all my life, and you know what? I'm gonna continue playing to the day I die. Haha. -ha. Yeah, he's awesome. He's really excited. So, but you know the question is, there's so many Pokemon out there. How do they come up with them, you know? The guy that creates them is a whole team that creates them, you know? We use our awesome exclusive contacts with Nintendo to get a sneak peek and talk to those guys or that person or that woman or that frog, whoever it is that creates all of them. Let's talk to them right now, yeah! Hey you, alcoholic. <sighs> We're gonna need some more Pokemon, man. X and Y are coming out soon. Draw like something like 200 more Pokemon, what? yeah? Already? Hey, what are you doing? I'm working out, okay? I'm working at these Pokemon. I'm making them, okay? I'm drawing them, drawing them, okay? Come on, guys, give me some time here, yeah? Wow, wow, yeah, that 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 is a hard job, you know. Letting one guy design all those Pokemon, you know, that's a hard job, you know. Respect to that guy. There's some drinking there is involved, but I'm sure it's helping him. And let's hope he keeps it up because we need those Pokemon games more to play than don't we? Okay, next piece of news. How do new Super Mario Brothers ga games get named, you know? There's so many games coming out, you know? How, how do they come up with these creative names, okay? Again, let's go back to our Nintendo and let's check it out, let's ask them. Hey, you again. We have a new Mario Brothers game coming out. Create some sort of a catchy, sexy name, you know, for the youngsters. What? We need to sell it well. I, I, I don't have time come to come up flashy. with a name to a new Super Mario Brothers game, okay? I'm designing Pokemon too, you know? We've got X and Y coming out. I gotta, I gotta design 200 more Pokemon in the next five days, yeah? Just just put new in front of Super Mario Brothers, you know? And, and that's fine. It's good enough, man. Doesn't matter, man. Just put new in front of it and people buy it, man. Who cares anyway? Come on, man. Guys, leave me alone for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. I can sense a lot of frustration going on there. Poor guy. Not only is he designing all the Pokemons, but he's also designing uh, the names for the new Super Mario Brothers games. Yeah. I can't help but notice, though, you know, how uh, he has exactly the same statue as I do in his office. You know, that, that's how you know you're a big Nintendo fan if you have this statue right here, you know, holding your DS or 3DS or DS Lite or DS XL. In fact, the DS XL is probably too fat to fit in here. Fuck the DS XL. Okay, next piece of news. Let's check it out. What do we have there that's coming up? Yeah, 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 okay. Oh yeah, we get a look at a uh, new Resident Evil info. New Resident Evil info. Okay, Green Dude, you know, it's been some time since we played a Resident Evil game. If this new piece of info comes out, you know, w w what do you say about it? Come on. You know, uh, I think Resident Evil is a pretty good series and um, I, I love it, you know, I'm quite excited about it. So let's, uh, let's jump to the info. You know, uh, it's been, uh, I played the last one and uh, it's pretty shit, so I'm kind of looking forward to this new series. Yeah, yeah, you know, not, not that I think about it. I have not played it wasn't a good, good, proper Resident Evil game since the GameCube one. Resident Evil and Resident Evil Zero. So you know what? Fuck that news. Fuck the news. Fuck Resident Evil, you know? We're not gonna look at Resident Evil, you know? Forget it. Forget it. No more Resident Evil news on this show until they say we're going proper survival horror just like it is on the GameCube. Otherwise, you know, forget it. Forget it. No more Resident Evil info. Let's jump right ahead. Yes. Mega Man 3 review! Ha <laughs> ha! It's insanely hard! Oh my god! More frustration there, I can see it. I can see it definitely, yeah. Mega Man 3, very hard game. Um, don't play it if you want to keep your hair. Um, don't play it if um, you want to keep your TV. I broke probably five TVs trying to complete that game. Yeah, Mega Man 3, hard game. That's the review there. Nice! Let's jump to that exclusive Windows Phone 7. Um, Moosh game, you know, whatever you want to call it, it's it's good. It's a good game. Let's check out some gameplay. This is Moosh. Now, notice the nice, relaxing, calm music. It just makes you want to go to sleep, doesn't it? Yes, yes, the music is great. I actually have this as my ringtone, and you can. I'm going to play this on the Nokia Lumia 900. But if you have a Windows 7, then I believe you can get it pretty easily. Uh, let's check this out. So you see there's quite a bit of levels. I'm just going to take you a few through a few of them. 
Okay, number three. So in this game, you cannot die. And that's why the game really focuses on the puzzle elements and, you know, the platforming elements um, rather than, you know, dying and making you retry and retry. Uh, it's not a hard game or anything like that, but uh, it is quite exciting. It's quite original. So, you see, if you tilt your phone, that's how you make your little moosh monster move. And if you make him smile by making a smiley face, that's how he floats. And that's pretty cool. Now, if you put a line through him, you see, he goes back to normal. So, that's pretty cool. I, I, I do love it how uh, in this... How it's so easy to play it. That's really what I love about this game. I find it that in a lot of the mobile games... It's really hard to control your characters because they try to have like a something like a keyboard, like buttons and stuff. Whereas here, you just move him, just simply like that, you know. So this is one of the features he's got, but he's got other features because he's a mush monster and he's really cool. So let's have a look at something else. You see, there are quite a lot of different levels, and ever the artwork is just amazing. I think it's beautiful. And uh, if you know, once again, you got still got the smile feature, but now you also have the sad feature. You see, that makes mush sad, and then he can uh, sort of like uh, swim underwater. You know, and again, you tilt your phone to move him. Check that out, huh? You want to go back. You want to float up again. You have a smiley face. E there we go. And this is great, you know, to play on the train to work or, you know, whatever. Good fun, good fun. And you have to collect these little mush faces right here. You know, the more you collect, the better. That's basically the point. You have to find them and collect them. That's because you can't die. The main point is to finding and collecting these little mushy faces. Here, there's another really cool feature that uh, your mush monster can do. Let's check this out. You turn your phone upside down. I love it how this game just uses your uh, mobile in such creative ways, you know. Check it out, you see. And here's your first puzzle. Look at that. You know, you need to get rid of these little guys right here. So what do you do? Well, you turn your phone back upside down and see that thing falls down. And then you make him float, you know. And then again, you turn it upside down. Haha, -ha, oh, look at that. But you see, he doesn't die. <laughs> so that this is what it's all about, you know, it's all about finding ways to get further around using these little features that you got, you know, finding ways to move obstacles out of the way, you know, and that's what it's all about, and I think it's great fun, check it out, and you really do have to experiment a lot, you know, with different, different features of the game, it's great fun, <laughs> check it out. Well, there you go, we have come to an end of our little short big smile show. And again, tell me if you like it, tell me what you want to see, tell me, you know, how can I make it more exciting, better, funny, whatever, tell me whatever you want to tell me, as you know, I like reading all comments. If you want to comment about your girlfriend, what you guys do, I am really, really looking forward to that comment, actually. Please do tell me what you guys do with your girlfriends. Anyway, anyway, yeah, stop, let's not be creepy now, because we got to keep it real with video games, you're talking about video games. Yeah. I believe that uh, Moosh game had uh, great graphics, don't you think so? Yes, that Moosh game had awesome graphics! No, I think uh, uh, the word you're looking for is sophisticated graphics. No, 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 I'm looking for amazing, amazing, damn awesome graphics! Yeah, haha! <laughs> okay, okay, bye!